of 2024. And you saw it first. Yo, welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you for clicking on this video. I do appreciate that. We're not in Chicago. It's a little chilly out, but we're not in Chicago. I'm in Austin, Texas, really Cedar Creek, which is like 20 minutes east of Austin. And I'm here at Wolf Dancer, but it's like Lost Pines. It's part of Hyatt, I guess. Beautiful looking course. We're gonna see what's to it, man. This round cost $171 and that was a hot deal. So I don't know what to expect. Guy that I met, that's a funny story. Um, I met a dude at the driving range. I told him I was playing here. Well, I asked him what he thought about the course because I wanted to ask a local. And he said, that sounds like a good time. I'm going to join you on that round. So it worked out. So shout out to him. Shout out to Drew. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of undulations, tough greens. So let's see how I can play. This is like my first real test of the year. So new swing thoughts and stuff like that. So I'm just going to try to stay connected as much as I can. So again, not a lot of talking, out of respect for other players and just pace of play and whatnot. And plus, you know, y'all probably don't want to hear me talking all the time anyway. So thanks for clicking the video. Like it if you like it. Let me know if you played this course before or heard it. And yeah, let's just get into it, man. All right, starting on the back nine, 10th hole, par four. There's dog leg left. Front nine won't be discussed. Thanks. New nine, new me. All right, man, 120. So a few things I'm thinking about. On my swing. Club face close as I go back. Pause at the top. Stay down through impact. Let's see if I can do it. Gap wedge, 120. That's a little right. Come on, wind. Do your job. Is it long enough? Oh, it's just short. I'm not mad though. Felt good. But it's 2024, right? So. I'm trying to get more greens and rig, new driver swing, so get some fairways and rig too. That's gonna elevate my game because I'm a pretty good putter. It's a beautiful property here, man. Nice course on the expensive side. Let's see if I could uh, try to get up and down. Right over there. It's like, should I put it? Super tight live, but I don't know. I don't wanna kill it. I'm gonna put it smarter oh they haven't been as fast as you would expect but this is downhill so i just got to get it through this stuff you want me to do anything with the flag okay all right man that flag is 220 now the question is do i have this on a rope like Oh, talk about a hook pull. Yes, but that shot, that shot tracer is going to be crazy. That shot tracer was crazy. Like that was a pull hook, but God bless me. Into the wind, 60 degree. That's way short, dude. That wind scared me. You can't play scared. You just can't. And that's what I just did. Just an idiot. Now I don't know how far I am. Now I wasn't scared and I hit it too far. I gotta give up the game. You gotta have a short memory. Oh, I wish I could see that. Thanks. Okay. So one, two, duh, three, up and down five. Much better than I deserve, given those two shots, but 
Up and down saves things. Now we're on to a part three. One, three, four. But his end to his kind of cross. One, three, four. I don't know if nine will be too much, but pitching wedge is not enough. So I'm gonna just like tee up a little further back. Dude, that did not even feel like, like it felt like such a good swing until it didn't. All right, this is tough. I do have a small window. Oh, if it landed a foot short, it caught this speed slot is downhill. That was some nice sand right there. Oh, it's crazy it's like I'm really hitting it. I piped it, but it's just right. I got all these trees to get back over, so I might have to just hit it straight out here and just and just sacrifice. That's stupid. That's stupid to even go for that. That's not enough. 226. Let's go open a face up. I did not take the wind into account when opening that face up, but I, mean, I hit it how I want it. So. Like you can live with that, right? If you hit the ball how you want, you just live with the results. If it's more wind, it is what it is. Just like a putt. 50 yards, 60 degree. Actually, I got a 50, oh, I got a 60. This is hard right here. Dude, there's no way I did that twice today. I'm trying to take some off, but like I'm afraid of like, what are you doing? One, two, three there, four in. Five out, this is six. This is a cool hole. I mean, look at this. It should turn a little bit at first, at first. It does. More so, because I was off this slope, so it, it's at the beginning. It, it was going to level out for sure. That hole is over. New hole, 311, dog leg right. Aiming at the leftmost tree of the right side. A little more left than I want. But it should be good. I like it a knockdown shot. 90 yards, 56 degree. Right behind it. All right, that's me right there. I'm going to record the green. Oh, check. Dude, how did that just jump out so hot? That is impossible. Uh, this next hole is from the one that's like 90 degrees. Okay. Okay. Par four. It's like a 90 degree angle hole. I got the five wood. I think the real raw number is like 216 or something. That's a hook. Sounded better than it was. Hey man, I'm on a green right now. I'm on the green, which means, look at that. That's crazy. I put the camera because I thought I went OB and I was like, fuck it, like I'm done. Gentlemen, wife, mom, we got an eagle putt. I'm gonna give this a go, it's gonna turn a lot for Eag.
Turn. Ooh, I'm not mad at that at all. Last thing I want to do is leave it short, like I've been doing all day. Dude. It, what? I hit it so hard. Dude, I hit through my break. That was my fault, obviously. The most underwhelming par of 2024. The most underwhelming par of 2024. And you saw it first. All right, 109. Well, 120, 109 adjusted. This is all downhill. Beautiful hole. I got 56 degree. Little wind at us. That should equalize things. It's a little right. Yep. Front half of the green. Could have been longer, but I teed it up a little too high. That went way up. It went like up there and just stood there forever. Bye bye. Another birdie look. What are we going to do? No three plus. You're right. Uh, I got the spot. Up the hill the whole way. You can't. I don't get that. I thought it was perfect. It just stayed up. I thought it was going to roll down there. All right. A little down. That's how I left. This is a tough pin spot. It just, bro. Like that just went so fast down that hill. I didn't even think I hit it that hard. And I probably didn't. What the? F <sighs> Two, three plus in a row. All right. Par four. It's like dog leg right. No real trouble other than me being on the tee box. Dude, that's crazy. I hit this first tree that's hanging over straight down. All right. Fortunately for me, the tree saved me. I got seven iron. I'm just getting it back into play. A little bit above my feet. That was bad, but. Bad meaning good. Back in the play. 25, 125. Pitching wedge, it's a little uphill. <sighs> All right, I'm not putting that. Yeah, this is uh not what I want to see. For one hundred and seventy-one dollars. Yeah, I don't know, but I—that's kind of what I wanted to do. I think I got more of the slope than you did. Nope. I could tell it was so fast. I hit that so hard, dude. Now they're kind of rolling. It's weird. All right, on top of it being windy, not the easiest course. I just found out my flight got canceled or rescheduled or they put me on the next one in two days. I've never heard of that in my life. I got to figure this shit out. But 18th hole, long hole, slight dog leg left. This is all I got to worry about right now. Uh, I felt the scoop. Get left. All right. Yep. Get
get right. All right. That works. That wasn't pure, but it's good enough. All right. Par five, third shot. 110, I got gap wedge. Go! Oh, don't go! Fuck, it felt perfect. That was probably the purest gap wedge I've hit in years. I think the wind died down because I ended up long. I mean, look at this. I was hoping to get up and down from bird. I mean, it's gotta go left, but is it gonna go right off of this? I don't know. Stop, please. Stop. Kind of doesn't do a whole lot. Last, last hole up the hill, right to left. Not a whole lot. I didn't even hit my line, so that's on me. Obviously, it's on me, but Ugh, bogey. That's not good. Bogey to finish. I don't know what I shot. It's right here on the screen, okay? This should let you know why you should not pay for expensive rounds after you just got a lesson. So, until next time, man, I'll catch y'all in the next one.